Okay, so I'm out in the woods today. I'm near Wallapai State Park in Kingman, Arizona. And I thought I'd talk about my hiking gear when I'm out exploring the mountains or in the high desert. So this right here is by far one of the most important things when you're out in nature or hiking to consider. I would say three things. So it's the clothes you wear. Then two, I would say the backpack is also very important as well as how you carry your water. So this right here is actually a very specific camera hyper bag, which I love. It's the Shimoda V2 edition. It's the Explore, Explore More, which is really nice. So it's actually designed to be a camera bag. So as you can see here, it's designed to be a camera bag, but it's also a hiker backpack, which is awesome. And then I would say really what's really great about this bag, because it's a hiker explorer, explorer bag, it has a pouch where I could keep one of the second most important one of the most important things with me is my water. Some of the most interesting things that I've noticed with people are out hiking is that they don't consider how much water they need to be taking with them. So um, whenever you're out in the woods where area is not very humid, or in this case very dry like it is out here, water is one of the more important things. Have a hiking backpack, that's really good for when you're out in the woods. And then I would say the next most important thing is your base layer of clothes. So as we hike around, I'll cover different positions and points here out in the trail of different tips and gear that I actually carry with me when I'm out in the woods. Let's get going and let's hike up. We're about 6,000 feet of elevation and it looks like we're gonna go to about 8,000 elevation change. So, should be fun. Let's get going. Right, so now that we've hiked up quite a bit, you can see behind me, we're almost at the top of the mountain. So what I wanted to cover now with you guys was actually the other most important, th another really important thing that consider when you're out hiking is what you wear, right? So I'm wearing lightweight hiking gear for summer. So this shirt is from Columbia and it's their heat wave edition, as well as my prana pant, prana pants that are lightweight pants specifically built for the heat and rock climbing, which I really like, and my footwear, which is Solomon Obaden's hiking boots. So always be aware of what, where you're hiking and what kind of gear will be appropriate for the outdoors and the weather. But down there is the base of the mountain, and that's where I started hiking from. So I believe that was about almost 40,500 40, feet or so. So I have quite a bit of elevation change. Alright, so I wanted to cover, before we go any further, we're almost at the top, but I wanted to cover another very important piece of hiking gear, which I think a lot of people overlook. So this guy is a medical kit. It's a specific medical kit called an IFAC, but this one's from 511. But really, what it comes down to is that this kit is mainly for emergency little treatments when you're out in the woods. Okay. So one of the more common things that you might encounter when you're out hiking, um, one of the risks, I would say at least, is the issue of injuring yourself or having or someone getting injured in the process of hiking out in the woods. So this little medical kit right here, right here, only serves for the purpose of getting basic medical treatment for when you're out in the woods, like gashes, rolled ankles, really nasty cuts, blisters splint for when you break a bone or something and so i don't necessarily carry too much with it but it covers the basics of medical wilderness i suppose i'll leave a link below on kind of uh, this particular model but 
also some resources for those curious and and a couple I would also say medical kits that I recommend um, to learn but I would say if you're going to buy one highly suggest knowing what is in it and how to use it because if you don't not much of a point of having one so yeah just my suggestion finally made it to the top let's find a good spot and talk about the last few pieces of gear i i suggest for people to carry with them they're going to be out hiking for an extended period of time so let's find a good spot Whew. all right I was filming over here, but it got too uh, windy. I'll show you a bit of the footage later, but um, one of the things I highly recommend people to carry with them is these two items. They're kind of a necessity when you're out in the woods, especially if you're gonna be doing a lot of backpack um, kind of endeavors, so backcountry hiking. So it's a map of the area and a compass. Um, in most trails where they're kind of clearly not marked, you don't have to worry too much about this. But in areas like here, where I'm out and about, this is kind of a lesser known trail area. So I don't necessarily recommend anyone to just be out and about without at least having some sort of navigation tool. Um, another option that's very helpful that you have, if you could afford one, is a GPS watch. And no, I'm not talking about an Apple or an Android watch. It's actually specifically something like this. So it's this is the Garmin Instinct. And Garmin's been making really great gear, actually. And again, uh, really great gear for the outdoors people. This one kind of serves two purposes. It's kind of a calorie tracker, outdoor GPS watch, and it serves also for when I'm you know, doing my triathlon training. Um, so these two pieces, these are two are essential. Know how to read a map and know how to use your phone. So the last bit of kit I would suggest people to carry is a knife. Really good one, not too expensive. In case I lose it, I don't have a heart attack. And a little flashlight. Mostly because you don't know how late you're gonna be out and about. So these are kind of just like some little tools I suggest. If not, I would suggest a multi-tool for you. Um, I like keeping things simple. Oh, that wind. I like keeping things simple and light for when I'm out and about. Um, I don't like to be weighed down too much with gear. Ugh, this wind is terrible. Um, but when it comes to buying gear, I always suggest one thing. Buy quality gear. If not, you'll end up buying another piece of gear which you don't want lying around and broken. So, um, you don't have to be going too expensive or anything, but usually the more expensive the gear, the better quality of the product, specifically for outdoor stuff. So, um, yeah, those are kind of my suggestions. Um, it's getting kind of late, and i got to get back and drive home. So, um, I'm going to finish this vlog up by going to my, my, my office and kind of just talking a few more things about the gear and everything. But before I do that, let me show you the view. Alright, so we're back in my office. That was a good four mile hike or so. Um, again, I left a couple links below on my recommendation for good backpacks, good equipment, what to look out for, um, such as a face layer, um, good shoes, even good medical kits as well, other resources. Kind of investigate and dive further if you'd like. Also linked to a couple videos on, for those who aren't knowledgeable, how to use a compass and how to read a map properly. Uh, you know, if you like this sort of video and like this sort of content, make sure you like and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for the next video. All right, later guys.